Hello and welcome everyone to Dramas and Dreams. I'm Srijita and today I'm very glad to have someone on board Jiski Likhai has touched a part of your life if you've watched Indian television. One of the intentions of Drama and Dreams is to see the brains on and off screen. And then the person that we have today has made shows like Devak Dev Mahadev, has written Radha Krishna, has written has conceptually even written Channa Mereya, which is one of my personal favorites. And then his recent work, which is getting a lot of critical claim, is Swatantriya Veer Savarkar. So I am more than happy and glad to have the opportunity to interview Utkarsh Nethani. Kaise hai aap? Main thikku, um, uh, thank you so much apne jis ke introduction diya and uh, what a lovely surprise that you said that Channa Mereya is one of your favorite shows. Uh, dil ke bahut hai. Um, uh, it was a wonderful experience uh, making it also. So, I am good. I'm getting the acclaim of Akleem Milra. I'm also getting the acclaim of Akleem Milra. Our footfalls are growing. So, business is improving. I hope that uh, when people are watching the interview, it will be better than ever. And uh, yeah, because... Um, b- Log jo appreciate kar acha lag raha hai, but I also want the producers to make money. So <laughs> I'm hoping for more tickets to sell. <laughs> yes. Day, of course, the, buzz of, uh, the good uh, word of mouth is generating. The buzz is increasing slowly and gradually. Yes. So touch wood, it yes. should all go well. So uh, okay. one thing that I was really fascinated about the making of... Um, Savarkar was that usually jab biographical as a movies aate hai, uh, then there is that conflict between writing a person versus writing this person who left a legacy who is very known for his ideology who's uh, very well known for his political stance but jab maine aapke interview sune about the creation of uh, of the character Dub, the things that you touched upon him was what really made me think uh, this is fascinating because of the humanistic side. The fact that you have to think that this is a claustrophobia se issue. Hai. Yes, he's claustrophobic. And then you're thinking about him being in solitary confinement and the pain that he's going as a, norm, as a normal man outside of who he is and his legacy. And the fact that there's a fondness on his aloo because he remembers his mother's hai. So this is where that brings out a humanistic side of Savarkar that you have implemented in the film. So this is balance that you have kept. How did you keep it? First of all, uh, so someone has done her homework. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, nice, nice to hear you mentioning things. Um, uh, for your audience, ke liye, I'll just clarify a few things because these things weren't there in the movie. So um, uh, there were a couple of... Uh, events that uh, originally i was quite keen ki jo ki hamare film mein ho usme se ek baat ye thi ki bahut kam log jante hain ki uh, vinayak savarkar ji actually claustrophobic hua karte the bachpan ke incident ke baad mein unke andar wo ghutan hoti thi ke uh, band kamre mein and uh, yes it's true that uh, unfortunately because of time management ki humko itni sari itni badi kahani itne kam samay mein kehni thi us cheez ko hum log use nahi kar paye par i want the audience to have cognizance of the fact that this person had claustrophobia, when he was in solitary confinement for 6 months, in confinement, in Ekant Karawas, then what will happen to him? And the other reference that And the other reference that uh, Shri Jita has uh, mentioned very nicely is the fact that uh, his love for aloo ki sabzi, because uh, um, famously he had said more than once in his books that his memory of his mother, because he was very small when his mother was so his memory of the mother was very engaged with the fact that when his mother was gone and she was sent to eat for food, then at that time, he had a lot of food served. So he had a lot of lifelong food served with aloo ki sabzi. Se. So, that's right. uh, so thank you for uh, connecting all these things and asking me about this. Now I have to be on 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 on, on my toes because I'm dealing with somebody who is studying and studying. So now to answer your question. Now to answer your question. Um, writing a biographical character is a different beast of writing altogether. This is the reason behind this. Because, I mean, in my career, I've had the privilege of writing divine shows, mythological shows. That means, where we 
ईश्वर का भी एक स्टोरी आर्क जैसा देख रहे हैं जो कि अपने अपने हास्यास्पद बात है तब भी सो वी सी दैट ओके फाइन लाइक महादेव इज ए जर्नी फ्रॉम हॉमिट टू हाउस होल्डर और राधा कृष्ण में कृष्ण हैज आल्सो हैज अ जर्नी ऑफ already being in love with radha then have see, separating from her then being born tab uske baad mein ek baar phir se unka jo pura jo ek prem ki jo raah jo hoti hai to ek is tarike ka hota hai dusra hota hai when we are doing uh, purely fictional character um jahan par ek tarike se rachnatmakta zyada hoti hai we can do much more but at the same time um uh, we have to be very careful that that uh, it shouldn't go completely haywire so we we'll always create a character sketch and then we'll follow that. characters jo hai, they are tricky for two reasons one is ki we have to be very aware of the factual background of everything just because मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि यहाँ पर ना अगर मैं सावरकर का ऐसे दिखाऊ की लाइक like, uh, सावरकर जी जो है um, uh, like, वो हमेशा छड़ी के सहारे चलते थे है ना और उससे मुझे कुछ बहुत आगे कुछ ड्रामा मिल रहा है लेकिन मैं वो नहीं कर सकता था नहीं कर सकता हूं क्योंकि ये एक एक हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट है ऐतिहासिक चीजें जहां पर कि ये कनेक्शन नहीं है सो आई कैंट जस्ट क्रिएट समथिंग एट द सेम टाइम वी स्टिल हैव टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स अगर उनकी अलग अलग किताबों में ये लिखा है कि समझिए अगर वो काला पानी में उनके पहले साल में बहुत कुछ हुआ उसके बाद किताब में लिखा है कि दूसरे साल में किस तरीके से उन्होंने कुछ और सोचा तो कैरेक्टर जर्नी के लिए उस पात्र की यात्रा में यह भी सोचना होता है कि मुझे भले ही हर दिन का डेटा डायरी तो कोई मेंटेन नहीं कर रहा था हर दिन का डेटा नहीं पता पर अगर पता है कि पॉइंट ए ये है 1911 में उनकी मानसिकता ऐसी थी 1912 में उनकी मानसिकता ऐसी थी सो बिटवीन 11 एंड 12 क्या हुआ होगा इस चीज को मनोवैज्ञानिक तौर पर साइकोलॉजिकली वी हैव टू एक्सप्लोर एंड देन वंस वी हैव दिस एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ फ्रॉम ए टू बी व्हेन वी विल थिंक इसके बीच में हम ऐसा क्या सीन डाल सकते हैं दैट विल सर्व एज अ सीड For audience to understand कि A से B कैसे पहुंचे होंगे तो ये अपने आप में थोड़ा सा आम, एक तरीके से फिक्शनल तो नहीं कहूंगा पर ये एक कंजंचर वी कंक्लूड ऑन दैट लेकिन एक चीज जो कि मैंने माइथोलॉजी में सीखी थी और जिसका काम हर तरीके की राइटिंग में आता है कि अगर हम किसी भी पात्र का किसी भी किरदार का पूरा मतलब एक Uh, उसकी रचना इस तरीके से हो कि उसकी गरिमा पे ठेस न पहुंचे तो ऑडियंस को पसंद करती है तो बी इट माइथोलॉजी और बी इट स्वातंत्र वीर सावरकर दिस इज द फंडामेंटल रूल आई हैव फॉलोड एंड थैंकफुल इट हैज वर्कड आउट करेक्ट एट एनी पॉइंट व्हेन यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग डीलिंग विद द कैरेक्टर क्योंकि ही हैज सच पावरफुल मोमेंट्स एंड यू आल्सो कनेक्टेड विद हिम एंड हिज स्ट्रगल्स एंड देन देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ फैक्ट्स एंड देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ओपिनियंस so was there any point where you had to be like okay i have to think 10 ways through to write this one particular scene like were you being faithful to what people have an opinion of him or what he had an opinion of, of himself what a fabulous question kya baat hai i mean what i really like about this question is that uh, it's evident uh, and i want your audience to know ki aise nahi ki hum log ne pehle se baat ki hui ki ye ye sawal puchhenge it's it's new for me also so as audience hears it for the first time when you ask this merely be naya hai par before i get into the answer of this uh, i need to state a a very important fact audience janti hai par ek baar phir se kehna ki um, uh, randeep has played a massive role not just in directing the movie and acting as swatantravir savarkar and also co-producing it but he has also been involved very closely in the right writing of the film co-writing ke hisab se jab jo hota to kai baar my advantage and uh, like he has also mentioned in his interviews kai baar reason for fighting used to become ki um he had a lovely way of looking at every scene thinking ki when he be enacting this or when he be shooting this to usme kis tarike ki baatein ho sakti hain to because of that i had a massive advantage of having randeep in front of me constantly discussing to hum log kya karte the ki main aam taur pe matlab 
I did my own work because I I work well alone. That's how writers we we do. I'm like like likke ho gaya. And then I would narrate it to him, to which we would uh, Randeep and I used to call it fencing. We would then thak 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 karte the because he would like something, he would not like something. What he did would not like, then I would say, "Iske piche ka karan ye hai, iska fact ye hai." Then sometimes it would happen that he says, "Okay, theek hai, karte hain." Sometimes it would happen where he will say, "Ki nahi, par mujhe to ye karna hai." Then, because I was also the researcher on the film, I would also tell him, "Okay, fine, give me some time. I would go back, look at various books." I would not and have not written a single scene of this film without any proper. This go uh, Wikipedia has struck the word citation to the world, or yeah, proper references. Ke, uske bina I have not written anything. So, ye ek hamara ek writing ka rhythm tha pura apne aap me ki uh, he would say isko aise karenge, and then very often aage tak jaakar um, he would suddenly say, "Arey par pehle aise kya tha to kaisa rahega." So then I would be that guy who would say, "Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I change that scene, वो domino effect में पूरा नीचे आगे गिरेगा." So this becomes a process on its own. But it was a unique experience, and because the main when you're asking a question with respect to Swatantra Vijay Savarkar, uh, it's a specific question you have asked. So उसमें in in other shows this is not the case, but in this show, एक बहुत ही unique चीज थी कि I had the man with me a lot. तो कई बार वन ही एड गॉन टू शूट देन ही वुड कॉल मी फ्रॉम देयर बिकॉज वॉट आई लव अबाउट हिम पीपल हेट दिस अबाउट हिम बट आई लव दिस अबाउट हिम दैट ही इज अ ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन गाय लाइक ही इज हीज ऑन लाइक ही इज ऑलवेज इंटेंसली इन टू हिज कैरेक्टर सो आई मीन इफ दिस वॉज अ ईयर अगो फ्रॉम नाउ I would have expected कि the phone can suddenly ring and he say अरे उत्कर्ष वो वाले सीन पे ना मैं सोच रहा था और क्या कर सकते हैं and he would have some thought and then we would fence and we would very often rework the scene तो ये एक अपने आप में था तो सावरकर जी के किरदार को लेके और की journey को लेकर भी facts को लेके और रणदीप को साथ में लेके आगे चलना था that is how the process was that's beautiful and that shows that shows people are connecting to the character that has been portrayed to the human that has been portrayed on screen. So, what as a writer, what was the easiest part for you to grasp about the story, and the most difficult part to write? Yeah. Are you a writer too, Shri Jita? Do you write also? जी. पता चल रहा है, पता चल रहा है, सवालों से पता चल रहा है. So, um, easiest part तो सोचना पड़ेगा, but I can I can say the most difficult part I would say, and uh, all writers will agree, is uh, how to begin. या कहावत है वेल बिगन इज हाफ डन पर वो वेल बिगन आसानी से नहीं आता उससे पहले बहुत पापड़ मिलने पड़ते हैं इज जस्ट दैट लाइक आई हैव सेड दिस इन अदर इंटरव्यूज आल्सो एंड रणदीप आल्सो सेज दिस दैट वो जो कहावत है अंग्रेजी की वे वो यू वेन द पेज वॉज वाइट तो इट्स इजी समटाइम्स फॉर समन टू कम एन एंड से इसमें ऐसे ऐसे पर राइटर्स को जब स्टार्ट करना होता है ना सो इट इज वेरी ट्रिकी Uh, it's easy to say outline karenge but our challenge was that this was not a web series uh, this was a movie a cinema which means we started off thinking that we want to make a two and a half hour film we ended up with 2 hours 51 minutes so hum jab soch rahe the iske bare mein ki kaise karenge kya karenge to sabse kathin kaam pehla yahi tha ki ye aise to hai nahi ki koi epic hai ramayan hai ki ye shuruaat hai ye ant hai okay um savarkar's life has two tricky parts one is that it is wo itni vyapak katha hai apne aap mein ki savarkar as a poet is a separate movie we not been able to touch so much on that but it's a fact i mean i can i can we can speak and speak and i can tell so many things just about how he was as an author as a poet savarkar thinking as a strategist ye apne aap mein ek alag baat hai तो मैं क्या डालू क्या नहीं डालू एंड ऑल्सो लाइक सावरकर व्हाट ही बिकेम पोस्ट काला पानी देर आर सो मेनी इंसिडेंसेस सो मेनी स्टोरीज दैट आई वुड लव टू शेयर एंड वुड लव टू पुट द फिल्म तो ये सब इस सब के एहसास के साथ में लिखना कि मैं ऐसे भी नहीं कि मैं आउटलाइन में कुछ भी सोच लू और वो बन जाएगा एंड सेकेंड एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट वॉज जैसे आदि कठिन था तो अंत भी कठिन था 
उसके लिए कारण ये है कि अगर कोई बायोपिक बनती है आ, से जैसे माय गुड फ्रेंड दिलीप झा व्हेन ही वाज राइटिंग एमएस धोनी एज अ बायोपिक सो यू सी व्हेन यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग यू ऑलरेडी हैव दैट धोनी फिनिशेस ऑफ इन स्टाइल इन योर हेड कि यू हैव अ लवली एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द स्टोरी so that's why he's able to create that circle you start lead to that moment go to the past come back jisko hum log q shape writing bolte hain ki that complete the circle and then the last climax kaise mein hai so gandhi was created with ben kingsley at that point of time so at least then you know that okay there will be a shooting in world of hey ram will happen you see now there is no such situation with the veer savarkar ji reason being that he unfortunately was and uh, uh, for anybody who has seen the film we have we have left no stones unturned to make a point about this that he was intentionally and strategically and this i'm not saying out of my own whim or thoughts it's it's proved based on on the literature that he was strategically pushed out of the system and um, i remember jab main is film pe jab main research shuru ki aur main apni behan divya didi jo hai unse unse baat karne laga ki main film likh raha hu to when i just mentioned that he passed away in 1966 she was shocked she was like utkarsh i don't believe that i didn't know this but 66 is we we don't know post independence we think savarkar ji guzar guzar gaye honge us time pe but he was alive till 1966 par unko gumnami ke andhere mein dhakel diya gaya jaisa cliche jo line jo kahi jati hai now because of this there is no clear climax so then as writers we have to think isko kaise karenge ye film ant mein kya kahegi what is the statement so this is the second toughest part i would say so in a way you can say three things how to begin how to fit fit things in uh, how much we have succeeded in that fitting in part see these are these are all things open to interpretation but like virat kohli so nicely said in an interview once ki hindsight is always 20 by 20 to wo piche dekh ke sochna aasan hota hai but jab white paper se start kiya tha tab wo kagaz ka ho ki microsoft word ka ho ki final draft ka ho par jo paper jo tha to uske shuru karne mein kathinai thi fitting kaise karenge and end kaise karenge what was the easiest part wow I think the easiest part was actually writing some of the scenes which are considered very difficult scenes. Reason being कि जब उन scenes पर काम कर रहे थे हम लोग, um, I don't know different writers function differently. For me, some very difficult scenes like uh, him being alone in his first solitary confinement, yeah. him coming home and eating for the first time uh, after kala pani and, and all the jails or um, him meeting gandhi for the first time jinko ki bade major major scenes hote hain i surprisingly found these scenes not very difficult at all reason being ki um see there are two kinds of screenplay writing um uh, i'm just sharing this with you because i'm talking to a writer and there must be so many budding writers in your audience also so when i when i'm teaching screen writing i always say this ki even among screen writing uh, screen writers screen play writers there are two uh, two ways of going about it one is which is methodology based where you know you have learned things like okay fine ye hamara block hota hai ye hamara uh, scene ka data hai and i want to do this and you write that's called craftsmanship and then there is a more instinctive way of writing which is moment based momentum based writing that where you write and you write in a flow so how i write how my methodology works is that i have learned what is there to learn but while writing main us tarike se nahi sochta ki ab mujhe agle patra se kya bulwana hai i have a scene clear in my head kaise hoga and i imagine it happening so in reality i'm not really creating the scene i'm watching it in my mind's eye and whatever i'm watching i'm typing so this is why some scenes which were very famous or like gandhi versus savarkar conversation later when that is happening they weren't so difficult kyunki mere dimag mein mujhe dikh raha tha jab dikh raha tha to i was able to type um, really fast so there was and there are so many nuances like 
जब गांधी और सावरकर पहली बार 1906 अक्टूबर 1906 लंदन हाउस में मिलते हैं इंडिया हाउस में इन लंदन जब वो पहली बार इंडिया हाउस में मिलते हैं सो ऑडियंस विल रिमेंबर दस अ टॉप एंगल शॉट ट्रेलर में भी दिखता है वेर ही इज कुकिंग एंड गांधी जी वॉक्स इन ओके अब ये एक स्क्रीन प्ले राइटर के मन का मोह होता है कि वी वॉन्ट टू मेक स्टेटमेंट दट ऑडियंस वे और वे नॉट गेट बट वी हैव टू बी क्लियर नियर हेड आई एम यू अंडरस्टैंड द सेंटिमेंट टॉप एंगल शॉट इट्स अ चेकर्ड टाइल इन विच दे आर टॉकिंग इट्स नॉट अ को इंसिडेंस इट वॉज रिटर्न कीपिंग इन माइंड बिकॉज इन स्क्रीन प्ले राइटर हेड दिस वॉज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द अल्टीमेट गेम ऑफ चेस ऑफ वन हु इज the best ahinsa and one best hinsa one's one best offense one best defense two players the journey beginning and that's why we it was very intentionally done that there's like a proper black and white uh, a chess board is where they are standing now these things it's not that ki we will say okay fine let us do that par reki ke time par samajh mein aata ki ye karna hai so then it's already planned like that in the scene so then for me writing that is not very difficult so to complete the question uh, answer of your question the easiest part sometimes were these very prominent perennial scenes because in my head i was already watching them how he takes a dive when he dives kyunki mujhe dikh raha hai bachpan se socha uske bare mein to usko likhna itna kathin nahi tha kuch dusre scenes the woh zyada kathin hote the but not these things so that's what i found the easiest is there something called easiest in a movie like this <laughs> relatively easy i should say ha ah, relatively easy is i found it very interesting that there's this one point where you spoke ke it's almost a writer's dream come true ke jaise apne socha ek scene to be in place and that's mm. how it got executed because i i always think there's always a little bit lost in translation between the script and the final execution mm. so how satisfying was this project in staying true apart from the fact that randeep hoda himself was involved in the writing process as well um mm. might have eased things for you was it how faithful was the ultimate execution of the film was to its script kyunki hamesha aisa nahi hota hai very good question um uh, yes uh, you've also answered yourself um रणदीप के होने से बहुत फर्क पड़ा इसलिए नहीं कि वॉज एन इन्वॉल्व इन राइटिंग बट इसलिए बिकॉज ही वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन राइटिंग एंड देन ही वॉज डायरेक्टिंग इट सो वेरी ऑफन लाइक एनी बडी वॉज रिटर्न फॉर टेलीविजन विल नो कि वी डोंट गेट द एग्जैक्ट जॉय बिकॉज देर इज नॉट इनफ टर्न अराउंड टाइम वेर एज इन इन सिनेमा वी कैन अफोर्ड टू डू दैट तो सीन के बारे में सोचते हुए um, uh, Randeep would already have in his head. I mean, जितनी तारीफ की जाए कम है रणदीप हुडा के इन सब चीजों में सो ही वुड ऑलरेडी इन हिज हेड वुड ऑल्सो स्टार्ट थिंकिंग हाउ ही विल शूट इट सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वॉट हैपन आई वुड से दैट अ टेलीविजन राइटर does not speak so much about satisfaction of what he has written on screen because invariably hum log dukhi hi hote hain aur us pe kisi ka kasoor nahi hai it's just that the makers also don't get enough time to execute it unless it's a first episode of a show or something but in this movie it was very satisfying because i would say in most cases uh jaisa socha tha that way he was able to shoot it ha kuch aise क्रिएटिव फीलिंग्स होती हैं कि काश ये ऐसे हो गया होता है या काश वो भी ऐसे होता बट यू ऑल्सो हैव टू रियलाइज दैट द मूवी ऑन स्क्रीन लुक्स मोर एक्सपेंसिव देन इट इज इट्स द द बजट वाज नॉट मच एंड देर आर सो मेनी सीक्वेंसेस दैट आई कैन नाउ ऑलमोस्ट शेयर लाइक अ सीक्रेट विद यू एंड योर ऑडियंस जैसे कि इन ट्रेलर ऑल्सो इट इज देर वन ऑफ द ट्रेलर वी हैव शोन दिस पार्ट दैट the famous debate of 1909 when for the first time on stage uh, gandhi and savarkar were one spoke one after the other so um people are really appraising it uh, and in reviews people are saying things like even on youtube i saw a couple of uh, youtubers review praising that sequence because you know what you've done is that ki uh, it's a complete pitch dark black background and first uh mahatma gandhi at that time was not called mahatma but barrister gandhi at that time he comes forward and he starts talking about vijayadashmi and the moment he finishes he invites savarkar on stage and when he exits screen we straight away have randeep enter the frame okay through the darkness itself and he begins talking now people are saying wow 
what lovely direction, lovely screenplay, and the way it has happened. But people are praising it because they are saying, you know, uh, it was such a lovely notion that people are, that they were able to um, make us force us to focus on uh, uh, Rajesh Khera who played Gandhi and Randeep. Um, what they don't know that, of course, we wanted to do it like a theater also, but that idea came because. Uh, the budget was so low that uh, that actually thing was kind of, uh, that situation happened in a cafe like space with a with lot of people watching and it wasn't even the thing ki picha kuch parda it was a cafe cafe like place in that era and uh, a raised space jahan par ki dono baat kar rahe the so then if you had to shoot it it was a separate sequence all together तो इस समय हमारे इंडियन जुगाड़ पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से वो तब रणदीप ने ऐसे में किया कि ब्रदर लाइक यू वुड से शूट इट वी विल डू इट इन अ वे कि वो अंधेर से आके से बात करते हैं सो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर हैपन जो कि वी वर फोर्स इनटू इट एंड वी फाउंड क्रिएटिव सॉल्यूशंस टू दैट सो दैट इज वन पार्ट बट यस it is because randeep was with me and then he was going to shoot it so lost in translation bahut kam hua is film mein um uh, ha kuch agar hua hai to wo ye zarur hai um now i have to treat this differently i will when you've seen the film you you'll know much more of what i'm saying is that ki um i know it's a difficult movie for to watch because it's 3 hour of a serious cinema it's not making you a giggle laugh or uh, there are no action sequences as such unless you count run the running and swimming uh, as as action but um, uh, or getting beat in the poor guy in the in the cellular jail but ye sab to cheeze jo ho rahi hain in terms of intense movie but i would like to believe because all the people who have uh, there are people who seen this movie in theater twice even thrice and they are saying that they understood things even more or they saw a different perspective uh when they watched it uh, second time or third time whenever we hears this this gives a lot of joy mirth to randeep and i because while writing you know we used to very often think ki hey, there is there's lots of layering in this um uh, theater mein bahut fat ho ke nikal jayega and then we used to look look to the sky and say no maybe there'll be people when they will watch it again they'll say ah that's why they did this so because of that it is uh there so it lost in translation nahi hua hai but i would like the audience for those of you who seen it if possible watch it again because then you'll realize i i can assure you that uh jaise marvels wale easter eggs karte hain na waise hamari bahut sari si cheeze usme hain ki you'll say ah this is what they did oh here they've just kept that particular object in that scene but actually they are talking about this event of the future and stuff like that so yeah that is how it was <laughs> this beautiful you know, mere dimag mein there was just this one phrase coming up when you were speaking about how uh randeep came around with the jugard for the scene it's like uh, constraint is the birthplace of creativity and i like to yes. sometimes think that um, somewhere down the line uh, when it comes to television first of all thank you for sharing that anecdote that is so again like you know it's uh, it's just a marvel of film making there's just something so and full awesome. full credit it was completely like you know uh, ak arvind krishnan the dop hmm. and uh, randeep they cracked it entirely because राइटर्स हम तो खुल के सोचते हैं ना तो लिखते हुए तो मैंने तो लिख दिया था हाँ अरे क्राउड बैठा हुआ है पीपल आर रियलाइजिंग वेल व्हेन वन इज स्पीकिंग तो दूसरे का रिएक्शन जा रहा है एंड ऑल बट देन लुकिंग एट द सिनेरियो दे क्रैक्ट इट एंड फुल क्रेडिट टू रणदीप एंड ए के फॉर जस्ट पोलिंग इट ऑफ सो ब्यूटिफुली या सॉरी प्लीज कंटिन्यू no no please no uh, and that made me think about television because television is a medium jaise aapne kaha right writers kahin na kahin hamesha dukhi rehte hain kyunki there are multiple variables that's working against the complete fulfillment of the vision be it like you know channel ke demands ho trps ho turn around time ho uh, what can be best done with it like sets are expensive actors are expensive to jitne waqt mein kitna ho sakta hai because it's almost producing a movie every week if you calculate the number of minutes per episode like it's almost two and a half hours of content for the same show every week so um apart from the, the fact that you have very little turn around time how different has been the journey of writing for television and as you all you already written larger than life characters all the mythological and writing for this film Hmm. Like a physicist would say, this is a space-time conundrum. 
um space uh that the time the amount of time that makes all the difference and the kind of space that you can use what i mean by that is i'll speak uh, more in an easier language of advantage disadvantage ant mein har ek medium ka uh, ott ho ki tv ho ki um uh, cinema ho har ek medium ka apna ek fayda ek vishishtata hoti hai uski ek uh, या कहीं पर कुछ लिमिटेशंस होती हैं तो वो तो अपने बात अपने हिसाब से बातें हैं ही पर सम स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स आई कैन से वन दैट यू ऑलरेडी करेक्ट दैट इन टीवी बिफोर द फर्स्ट एपिसोड बिफोर द शो गोज ऑन एयर अगर जैसे कि देर आर शोज लाइक इन माय करियर देर शोज लाइक राधा कृष्ण एंड इवन कर्म फलदाता शनि वेर देर वॉज एम्पल टाइम बिफोर द फर्स्ट एपिसोड वॉज बींग एड सो एटलीस्ट इनिशियल एपिसोड में यू आर एबल टू प्ले सम मोर ट्रिक बिकॉज आपको भी सोचने का मौका मिलता है और डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर को भी एग्जीक्यूट करने का मौका मिलता है बट वेदर इट इज एनी शो इफ इट्स लाइक अ रनिंग शो ऑन टेलीविजन फॉर ऑडियंस बाय रनिंग शो आई मीन जो रोज आ रहे हैं अभी शो चल रहे हैं उनमें एक ट्रिकी बात होती है कि कोई भी चैनल हो कैसा भी बजट हो पर आपको ये सोचना पड़ता है कि लाइक like, हिंदी में कहावत है कहावत तो क्या कहूं पर हम लोग राइटर्स ऐसे कहते हैं कि इंडियन टीवी का राइटर अगर मरता भी है तो तीन एपिसोड भेज के मरता है क्योंकि <laughs> क्योंकि दर सो मच एट स्टेक एवरी डे समॉर्ट एवरी थिंग डन इन डिफरेंट वेज ये uh, बात फिल्म पे लागू नहीं होती क्योंकि फिल्म में ऐसे में होता है कि अगर आपको वो डेडलाइन नहीं है उस समय तो आपको मौका मिलता है कि फिर से सोचने का तो ये एक फायदा है फिल्म का पर इसी मुद्दे का नुकसान ये है स्पेशली फॉर माय फेलो टीवी राइटर्स जो कि फिल्म लिखेंगे मैं उनको अपने एक्सपीरियंस से एक वॉर्न कर दूं कि वी गेट सो वायर्ड बाय डेड लाइन दैट वेन देर नो डेड लाइन ऑन फेस समाइम्स इट्स ईजी टू नॉट गेट कम्प्लीटली वायर्ड अप बिकॉज यू आर लाइक हाँ कल थोड़ी शूट है कल शूट नहीं है सो देन इट टेक्स मोर टाइम एंड डज अ बिगर इश्यू विच इज क्रिएटिव फ्रस्ट्रेशन जो हमारे अंदर सालों से भरा पड़ा होता है कि लाइक सपोज टीवी में कोई बढ़िया सिक्वेंस लिखी और वो वैसे बन के नहीं आई दिस अप्लाइज टू मी अलॉट ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई डिड मोस्टली माइथोलॉजी तो दर लॉट्स ऑफ लार्ज एंड लाइफ थॉट नाउ मैं लिख तो देता हूँ पर आई कैन नॉट एक्सपेक्ट द मेकर्स टू बी एबल टू पुल इट ऑफ ऑन स्क्रीन तो मैं उनसे कुछ नहीं कह सकता पर मन में बुरा भी लगता है काश ऐसे में होता सो so, फिल्म में ये वाली बात नहीं होती लेकिन तब एक दूसरी चीज होती है वो ये है कि टीवी लिखते हुए यू नो कि अब इसमें और काम करके मतलब नहीं है क्योंकि अभी शूटिंग चल रही है सो यू मेल इट न फिल्म सडनली गिव्स यू द पावर की नो आई कैन री थिंक दैट सीन एंड इफ यू आर नॉट ये केयरफुल जो मेरे साथ हुआ कुछ सिक्वेंस में you end up rewriting and rewriting and rewriting just because you have more time just because you think isse acha bhi ho sakta hai nahi ek aur karte hain to draft so achhi baat hai par like i not only like in savarkar for example not only do i have film ke drafts mere paas scenes ke alag se multiple drafts hain so ye maine koi special nahi kiya sab writers karte hain aise so this is the first fundamental uh, difference and the second thing is your ability ye main tv ke fayde ke hisab se keh raha hu फिल्म में ना क्या होता है कि आप एक बाउंड स्क्रिप्ट के साथ में आप युद्ध के लिए उतरते हैं यू नो मूवी हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ राइटिंग स्क्रीन प्ले डायलॉग एवरीथिंग इज पिट पैक एवरीथिंग इज रेडी पीडीएफ फॉर्मेट में आ गया अब जो चेंजेस करते हैं चेंजेस करते हैं उसके बाद में भी आई मीन बना वॉज वर्किंग विद संजय लीला भंसाली तो उसमें भी कई बार ऐसा होता सेट से हम लोग चेंज करते थे कि नहीं नहीं फिर से स्क्रीन प्ले चेंज करते हैं सब करता है ऐसे होता है वो कोई गलत बात नहीं है पर आमतौर पे सब हो जाने के बाद में प्लान करके चीजें होती हैं इसमें ना एक चीज जो टीवी में इसमें एडवांटेज होता है वो ये होता है कि कई बार ना फिल्म में लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन स्वतंत्र स्वातंत्र वीर सावरकर जो उन्होंने फिल्म देखी है और फॉर यू मैडम कामा मैडम भिका जी कामा दी ग्रेट मैडम भिका जी कामा उनका जो किरदार जो है वो रणदीप हुडा की जो सगी बहन है तो उन्होंने प्ले किया है अब वो इतनी अच्छी कास्टिंग रही कि जब मैंने फुटेज देखी एंड माई थॉट वॉज अरे यार विश वी हैड डन मोर थिंग्स फॉर मैडम कामा बिकॉज शी इज लुकिंग सो गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कैरेक्टर सो बैंग ऑन द वे शी इज डिलीवरिंग एंड 
I won't name, but a particular character wasn't the way that we wanted. So, ये TV में ये advantage होता है. Like Shrizita का किरदार एक है हमारे पास में. अब show शुरू हो गया. And now we realize कि although शुरुआत में Shrizita जिसको हम लोग कहते हैं parallel lead है या heroine की बहन है. Okay. But slowly but surely we are watching Shrizita perform episode by episode. And then, my God, she is fantastic. अरे तो बहुत है. Television gives me the power. It empowers the writer that I slowly bring Shrijita to the front while writing. I increase the role. I give her more footage because I can see that it's working. Audience is even giving more TRP when Shrijita is on screen. So यहाँ पर television आगे बढ़ता है क्योंकि film में सब कुछ करने के बाद हम उतरते हैं. TV में you have the power to do what in aeronautics you would say course correction. Mm. हाँ ये ठीक लग रहा है इसको मैं कर कर सकता हूँ तो ये अब ऐसे में तो मतलब ये बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक है तो पूरा शो इसी पे हो सकता है टीवी और फिल्म का अंतर पर ये दो बातें सबसे बड़ी बातें हैं दैट्स फैसिनेटिंग दैट इज फैसिनेटिंग सो टॉकिंग अबाउट योर टीवी शोज तो जैसे आपने पहले बात भी की थी कि देवों के देव महादेव के बारे में तो बहुत चर्चा हुई है बट दिस समथिंग अबाउट राधा कृष्णा दैट वाज जस्ट राइटिंग वाइज सो ब्यूटीफुल कि मेरे मन को शो एंड वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ऑफ दैट शो वाज दैट लाइक यू नो पहला सत्रह मिनट वुड बी द कहानी जो चल रही है और फिर आखिर के तीन मिनट में दे वुड बी अटल सर्मन अटल प्रीच That made it stand apart. I mean, one to Sumedh himself is a brilliant performer. So, वो तो एक है ही. But it is the written content in it. It's that uh, I don't remember it. Paraphrase. I paraphrase it. I'm sorry about that. But I remember sure. the gist of one of the uh, little sermons he had given was about care, about uh, love, not being a possessive right. And I was struck by how relevant it was. because the writing felt like without breaking character lord krishna was talking to me as opposed to at me so how how much of the writing contribution was there to make this mythological character giving a little moral science lesson but yet so contemporary and relevant the biggest credit of this uh, actually goes to um, mr vinod sharma who was the dialogue writer of radha krishna It is incredible how he managed uh, the entire thing of ज्ञान एंड ऑल क्योंकि एक होता है कि हाँ बाकी लोग कॉन्टेंट दे सकते हैं थॉट दे सकते हैं पर उसको उस फॉर्मेट में पिरोना द वे ही वॉज लाइक इफ यू लुक एट इट टेक्निकली अगर आप उसको एक लेखक की तरह से देखेंगे तो यू विल सी कि उसमें ना एक फॉर्मेट होता था कि ही वुड स्टार्ट विद अ क्वेश्चन और अ स्टेटमेंट और स्टार्ट विद एन एक्ट समथिंग एंड देन द म्यूजिक वुड चेंज because that would start that now he's going to give the answer to that so he sets up a problem he solves it and then of course uh, it ends with him saying or mere sath ki radhe radhe wo jo hota hai so now sabse bada credit to isme mountain ke size ka credit jo hai wo jata hai vinod sharma ko because it's just the way he did that he's incredible in my humble opinion he is when it comes to television especially these sort of larger than life shows in television he i would say he's one of the best writers in the country now what happens is the second thing um of course goes to siddharth kumar tiwari the maker of the show jinke man mein ye uh, thought thi ki hum ye karenge no matter usse pehle utna ho nahi raha tha unhone pehle mahabharat mein bhi ye karwaya tha but mahabharat was a much uh, maybe a more expensive show but in terms of length it was lesser because it was finite whereas we went for 1100 plus episodes so ki ye karna hai and uh, last but not the least credit to sumed and i will share uh, something very um, again wo secret wali baat but something that people don't know सुमेध की आंखों को लेके ना काफी शुरुआत में चैलेंजेस आए थे उसका कारण ये है कि जब पहला टीजर आया ना उसके बाद ही कुछ कुछ लोगों ने विद इन चैनल ऑल्सो और एक आध तो बाहर से भी लोगों ने कुछ आके ना ऐसे सवाल उठाए कि हम जब भी देखते तो श्याम वर्ण कृष्ण जो है तो उनकी आंखें भी हमेशा हम लोग काली इमेजिन करते हैं एंड सुमेद हैज कलर्ड आइज so channel was so concerned that at one point of time they started suggesting ki can we just make sumedh wear lenses 
um uh, but credit to uh, siddharth bhai that he never succumbed to any of this kind of pressure he said once the show is on and hoga na people will not have issues with us they will accept it and i can tell you pura show shuru se leke ant tak hua kabhi is pe koi bhi baat nahi hai why am i bringing the eyes up is because you will uh, watch the any of the gyans ya main audience se bhi keh raha hu wo bhi koi bhi hotstar or disney hotstar se koi bhi episode dekhenge agar और उसमें कृष्ण वाणी कृष्ण ज्ञान देखेंगे अंत में ना यू विल नोटिस मोर ऑफन देन नॉट मिनट डेढ़ मिनट का शॉट चल रहा है एक एक मिनट तक लगातार बात कर रहा है सुमेध डज नॉट ब्लिंक वाई उसकी खुद की सोच थी सुमेध थॉट वॉज कि पूरे शो में आई एम नॉट ब्रेकिंग द फोर्थ वर्ल्ड लाइक um i'm i'm speaking to other people i'm not speaking to audience directly the only time i'm talking directly to the audience is during krishna gyan they are used to seeing krishna as a murti as a deity to ye zyada asardar hoga agar main palkin jhapakna avoid kar saku kyunki ye hone ke bajaye agar mera constant eye contact hai to logon ko usse murti ki baat ki jo एक जो जुड़ाव जो होता है मूर्ति की बात ज्यादा ध्यान आएगी एंड यू कैन पिक एनी एपिसोड चिल्ड ऑफ कोर्स हम लोग कट करते थे फिर से करो पर ये एक्टर की अपनी मेहनत थी कि मैं आंखें नहीं झपकाऊंगा और मैं पूरे डायलॉग वैसे में कहूंगा तो आई वुड से जैसे कहते हैं ना कि uh, ये सब चीजें जो होती है ये uh, जो यज्ञ जब सफल होता है तो उसमें बहुत लोगों की आहुति होती है तो इस यज्ञ में सबसे बड़े आ, सबसे बड़े पुरोहित आई वुड से विनोद शर्मा हु वाज राइटिंग दोस एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स कैसे में क्या आएंगे एंड 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 आई वुड से सुमेध फॉर कमिंग विद सच यू नो व्हेन वी वर शूटिंग यू नो द प्रेशर ऑफ टेलीविजन इज सच कि बाकी जो पहले जो सत्रह से बीस मिनट सत्रह अठारह मिनट का जो कॉन्टेंट था ना वो, वो पहले जो तो शूट होते रहता था पर हफ्ते में दो या तीन बार निकाल के ना उस दौरान उस उन कुछ घंटों में छह के छह उस हफ्ते के शूट हो जाते थे but uh, sumed never looks bored sumed never looks like he is not in it and all full full credit to him the way he did that and you will never find any two episodes having the same kind of content that is full credit to vinod sharma hazaro episodes ke uspe bhi that's how it works that was the background and the example of uh, krishna gyan and how it, it it actually came into being it was it was beautiful again i think one of the things in in short one of the things that i really like in your way of writing larger than life characters like you know the audience is coming to watch your work with the background that they have information about this character they already know who they are they already have opinions on it aur phir bhi uske baad bhi when they look at the character aisa lag raha hai ki ek naya insaan ke sath mulakat ho rahi ho despite this being a larger than life character which is what you really um uh, Your team, the whole creative team, they really brought. वो जो कान्हा है ना वो एक एक प्यार होता है इस शब्द उस नाम को पुकारने से कान्हा नजर आए in that show. So it's it's beautiful. It was gorgeous.